Hey everybody, what's up? It's Kiki and welcome back for another video. So today I wanted to try something new with my makeup and really try to quote unquote beat my face. I was going to an event and wanted to look really, really snatched and I think I did an amazing job. So if you guys want to see me get ready, keep watching. So I'm starting off with clean moisturized skin. I've already done my brows and I'm taking one of my new favorite concealers, the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade Bronze to mute out my eyelids. I'm also taking some Calamine Lotion. I heard that this was better for your skin than using the Milk of Magnesia. So I'm taking that to use as a primer so that my skin doesn't get oily and my makeup lasts longer. So I'm not really showing the products that I use just because I was just doing my makeup and just recording myself doing my makeup so that I can see what I did for the next time. But I'm taking the Warrior 2 palette from Juvia's Place to create some kind of eyeshadow look. I don't know what I'm going for. I'm just playing around. Well, not really playing around. I'm just creating. That's what I'm doing. And then for my lid, I'm taking one of the Stila Glitter and Glow. I think that's what it is. Um, liquid eyeshadows. I was undecided on which shade to use, but I end up using the shade Kitten. And I'm priming my face using my favorite hydrating primer, which is the Too Faced R Hangover RX Primer. Really, really like this. It definitely keeps my makeup in place and it also hydrates my skin. Um, I am combination oily. So using something like Calamine Lotion and then a hydrating primer definitely works well for my skin. You guys know I have been going through it for these last few months, so my skin is not at its best. So I'm going to take my... Lancome stick foundation and use that as a corrector or concealer to cover up my hyperpigmentation and acne scar and then I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation at the moment which is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation in Lagos, Lagos 240. I just ordered me another one because this foundation is amazing it matches me perfectly and yeah I just love this foundation. So to conceal I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Cover Concealer in the shade Honey. And then to highlight, I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover in the shade Tawny. And I'm going to let it dry down a little bit before I start blending it out just so that it's a little bit thicker and it gives a little bit more coverage. And I actually love this technique, so I will be definitely using this a little bit more. And I'm just blending everything out with my Black Beauty Blender. And I'm going to set my face with, the, of course, my favorite Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I love this powder favorite powder of all the powders I have so I definitely use this all the time and to contour my face something I have been using a lot is the black radiance true complexion contour palette love this definitely recommend it they have three different palettes I believe I have all three the light to medium medium to dark and dark to deepest and I dabble in all three of them just to get a flawless blend of my contour it bronzes me, it sculpts, the highlight is nice. I really, really like these palettes. I definitely can get a good contour and bronzing of my skin without it looking too orange or too muddy. And then to reverse contour or to cut my contour, I use the CoverGirl Concealer in the shade Bronze, which is the same shade that I used on my lids. And because it's my skin tone, it doesn't look too light. That's what I like about it. And because I want full coverage beat today, I am using my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW44 to set my face and I'm just pressing it in my skin instead of dusting it over my skin. And because I've used a lot of powder, I'm just going to spray my face with my Frisali Rose Gold Spray. So I've already done my hair, changed my clothes, done my liner lashes and mascara. I am wearing the Tajay Lashes from Cotton Candy Eyelashes. Make sure you guys go check us out. We are having a sale for the rest of October. I did purchase the MAC holiday collection highlighter palette and i'm just using that to highlight my face highlight my brow bone highlight my inner tear duct it is a really really nice palette i did get the medium deep shade i think it is and yeah i think it's really really nice 
and I purchased the Huda Beauty Life Liner. The liquid liner is amazing. I was able to do a quote unquote wing eyeliner. It's not perfect, but it's the best that I've done so far. And the pencil part is so black, so smooth, it just stayed in place. And then I'm gonna take the Zulu palette also from Juvia's Place and use a purple just to add shadow to my lower lash line. Uh, purple wasn't in my clothes, but it went. <laughs> and I liked how it looked. And then I'm just going to blush up my face. I never really do full cover makeup because I'm always rushing. And I'm always scared to layer products. So I never really get that full beat like I always want. But I knew because I was going to a creator event, I wanted to take my time and actually beat my face. Really loving how my complexion and my skin makeup is looking. And I want to thank you guys for all of your support on my last couple of videos. I am doing much better. Still going through it with grandmother, but we are keeping the faith and praying and we have put it in god's hands so i want to thank you guys so so much for all your support on that i'm just going to go in and add a little bit more highlight just to make everything pop a little bit more and that is pretty much it i love how this look came out i think i did an amazing job i am not a pro makeup artist but i definitely know how to do a little something something and i felt real confident in my makeup i got so many compliments on it I did not even want to take it off at the end of the night it lasted all day and i'm going to take this huda beauty nymph not your mama's pantyhose and i recently purchased this because when i went to sephora it didn't transfer it stayed in place and it was very very shiny and i'm going to take this and just highlight my chest and i just love how everything came out so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up comment share all that good stuff i love you guys and i'll talk to y'all in my next video peace